start uh, let me introduce myself uh, my name is subramanian i will be the host and moderator for this event number 78 uh, we are from vishakhapatnam attachment chapter and um, every week i mean so every month or a couple of months we host both a virtual event and a physical in person event at vishakhapatnam location and the recordings will be shared with all the chapter members and with the people who are RSVP to the event so we welcome any of the participants to become a speaker if you would like to present the topic to the chapter members or to the global or atlasian community and we you work as a launch platform for the upcoming speakers or any of the enthusiasts who are SMEs in the respective field so our main focus is about the atlasian software production tools and the sharing the best practices discussing the use cases etc and uh, coming to the topic and uh, the author yogita chaya is our presenter today and the main speaker so she is a jira atlasian trainer with the not jira atlasian portfolio trainer she work as a freelancer independent trainer she is also an author of a jira administration with a uh, i mean a jira administration with jira right yogita yeah so she is really doing good she is the most happening atlasian creator in the atlasian community with uh, multiple hats and expertise uh, in her kitty so without further delay i will end, uh, i will pass on the mic to yogita yogita if you would like to speak few more about your portfolio you may please speak and then we can start the session okay. over to you yeah thank you mr subramanyam uh, okay let me share the screen and uh, meanwhile uh, okay hi everyone uh, good morning good afternoon uh, everyone and <clears throat> let us start with this session uh, welcome again to the session on getting started with jira advanced roadmap uh, which is also known as plans now so in this uh, this session i have designed uh, for um, quick uh, you know uh, if you have not worked on uh, jira advanced roadmap uh, we will be covering uh, maximum topics of course it is uh, not possible to um, cover each and every topic but i have tried my best to cover hands on uh, basically so there will be more of hands on than uh, slides okay so these are the topics which we will be covering uh, understanding and creating a plan issue hierarchy views navigating a plan and timeline managing teams in plans understanding scenarios and managing dependencies uh we will cover overview of capacity planning and all the topics will be covered using the actual uh, projects and towards the end you may ask any question if you have so as mr subramanyam uh, introduced uh, uh, i mean he said few words but let me introduce myself my name is yogita chaya and i started my career in telecom in 90s that is uh, around 90 in 94 at, at one of the multinational company and my atlassian uh, ecosystem uh, journey started as a jira administrator in 2015 i am from india gujarat and uh, i worked over there as a as an administrator and i have i i started my career as a trainer in 2018 i have trained uh, more than uh, 2500 working professionals on jira confluence and this two uh, tools mainly also i have conducted training on jira service management and i am the author of uh, one book which is available on amazon uh, uh, and uh, mr subramanyam has reviewed this i mean he was uh, he has uh, the reviewer of this book and it is published by ava in addition to that i am also atlassian creator and uh, uh, i also work uh, i so i uh, basically i provide services uh, as a trainer so let us start uh, first comes the plan then comes the road map so wherever anywhere you have to go whether it is a project management or in real life 
as someone has said that you have to plan first of all and then only you will get some direction so in today's session we are going to learn about plan in uh, jira advanced roadmap so plan what is plan first of all let us try to understand so i would say uh, that plan is uh, you can think about gps uh, so gps helps gps is helpful to us uh, when we have to uh, you know when we have to move to some other place so what how it helps us gps uh, will guide you that uh, suppose there is lot of traffic so if we compare it with the project management what happens is there can be uh, uh, bottlenecks in uh, when we are uh, working as either project management manager or any role you are there so uh, that is one thing the other thing is providing direction so using gps you have you get direction in addition to that uh, you have uh, it uh, actually it will tell you that okay you can you can go through this path you can go through another path so there are multiple paths to follow to uh, you know complete uh, the projects in a successful manner so in jira advanced roadmap this tool you have you can create multiple views multiple scenarios and then you can finalize based on uh, whichever is the right path i mean uh, as per your a uh, requirement and the uh, situation uh, what are the benefits of plan so as we have discussed that uh, plan is basically you can say it is a one time one kind of strategy and it can be used by as such all types of organizations but uh, if you are if you are uh, uh, if you have multiple teams and multiple you have to manage multiple projects and uh, suppose you are managing a portfolio so all those things you can um, manage using uh, plan because only jira is not sufficient jira has lot of features right from planning tracking and then finally measuring the performance so it has lot of features and many teams i mean each and every team can uh, utilize all the features however uh i remember one incidents when i had joined uh, my last organization our ceo asked me that okay you have to evaluate one tool uh, and we we want something where we can do plan we can you know we can plan for um, uh, with respect to teams because there are multiple teams uh, and there were uh, more than 150 projects to be managed so that was a challenge and that is how i mean i came to know about uh, this particular tool so earlier uh, the name of this tool uh, it was uh, i think it was available as a plugin and uh, it was it, its name was portfolio for jira so what are the benefits of plan so you have a single view where you can have uh, in a single view you can uh, visualize various projects and teams so whatever you have uh, uh, taken as as issue sources so we will see that practically in next few minutes uh, so you can basically uh, view it at a, on a, in a single view then it allows you to do capacity planning so <clears throat> capacity planning is nothing but uh, with respect to resources uh, whether you are able to whether enough resources are there if resources are there in addition to that you have to plan that right person should be uh, uh, assigned the right task then you can do scenario planning so this point as i have mentioned that you can have you can have best case or you can have worst case or you can have many multiple types of scenario which you can do it but that is that remains in jira advanced roadmap only uh, unless and until you push those changes to jira so it doesn't affect your actual roadmap you can study various uh, you can um, uh, prepare various scenarios you can prepare various views in uh, jira advanced roadmap and then once you confirm that okay we are okay with this then you can uh, push those changes into jira dependency management now dependency management can be done but here dependencies are between teams so this is very important that uh, that type of dependency management uh, can be 
than using plants okay now okay now let us move to uh, so uh, i have uh, we would like to uh, understand everything with the help of uh, the actual jira instance so this is the jira instance uh, which is a premium version so uh, let me tell you a few basic things about uh, the availability of this feature so if you are on a free or standard plan of jira you do not have this uh, features available so this is the plans feature is available in um, premium and enterprise version only now suppose uh, i click on drop down uh, over on the plans so this plans button you can view here but once you click on that so sometimes if you don't have this features it uh, you will see that okay you have to upgrade right so that is also possible uh, okay so if you are not in on a premium or enterprise version you have to upgrade and you have to uh, activate the, that feature so now once you have this feature you can create plan using this and you can view all plans so i have created few plans for this particular session only and we will uh, jump to one or two different plans uh, so that we can understand and we can cover maximum uh, things here so let us start with uh, create plan so if you want to create a plan uh, you can provide uh, you can say that okay your organization plan or so it should be the name should be a relevant name so this is first thing which you need to do now this is very important uh, which access type you you would like to provide now usually i provide open because uh, see if you keep it private there is no problem but uh, there with the, i mean each and every person cannot uh, utilize the features and let me tell you one thing which is uh, very very important that plans are not only for one particular role each and every person can uh, leverage the uh, features say for example whether you are a scrum master you are working as a developer or you are working uh, as a vp etc so it is possible that senior uh, management they may not learn each and everything but i will show you few features which are uh, very useful when you have to you know you have to present and they can understand that okay this is the stage where the this particular project it is in so here we will keep open and this can be changed later now this thing uh, is very important here so add work to your plan so here this this is the plan uh, and in that we have to define the issue sources so from which particular what is the issue source so issue source it could be board uh, it could be kanban or scrum board it can be a project or a filter from a project so you can decide any one and you can also add multiple projects multiple boards here so right now what we will do initially we will add only one board uh, to start with but you can add uh, other boards or other projects also and this team right now i am not adding i will i would like to show it when we create a team so you can create uh, a plan not a project uh, so you can create so when you create a plan you will see this type of uh, thing uh, this type of view in jira advanced roadmap so we will start to understand a little bit about filters and there are various views then we will cover about a uh, few settings are there because these are very important i will explain about each and every settings and then you can also add some uh, custom fields and some fields over here and then we will move to few more topics over here in this so let us understand uh, about first of all filters but before we go to filter uh, let me uh, show you one thing i mean uh, let me share you about one thing that uh, why why this plans are uh, what is 
if you compare, so there are two main things uh, due to which uh, this is uh, very much required. First thing is multiple teams and multiple projects. You have to manage uh, multiple projects. That is one thing. The other important thing is you need uh, to add, you need to add one hierarchy label about epic so usually in jira you can have uh, epic onwards so epic then story and then you have task subtask etc but if you want to add one more hierarchy label you have to uh, go for uh, advanced roadmap simply add that particular issue type and then uh, uh, make the changes so jira administrator and you can make those changes so <clears throat> so those changes uh, can be done so you can have multiple uh, issue levels uh, about the epic so using that see right now okay let us check what is the filter so here you are right now we are able to view only this many tasks i mean uh, right from story but we want that okay show me uh, from initiative to up to so from top to bottom now uh, suppose I want to create an issue. I want to create issue. Now here I have not added this initiative, uh, but I would like to show it uh, in uh, one other project where I have already added that particular uh, thing. Mm. So that is a simple process. Like you have to add that in uh, in that uh, <clears throat> scheme, and then you can create initiative over there. So I have I have added probably in this uh, is okay in this uh, project. Okay, now uh, we can simply clear all filters and we will first of all these are the views. Now suppose I want to create one uh, create an issue over here. So for that. Uh, suppose I want to create an epic here. So I can create an epic uh, at this uh, in this. Okay, let us go to top level. And so you can create initiative also. And when you create an initiative, it will ask you that where. Where means in which project. So we had defined some issue sources when we had created the project so that initiative will come in that particular project so you can simply uh, add one initiative i think okay there is some okay i did not uh, select this that is why it was not allowing me to create that now so this has been created similarly uh, you can also create epic you can uh, suppose I, I had created initiative so under that initiative you can create an epic over here you can create initiative also so multiple things can be done similarly from this uh, this particular uh, view or you can say from this uh, page you can create uh, all the types of issues which you require. Say, for example, here you have a story. So under this story now, okay, uh, I want to add, I want to create a story. Suppose I select, but over there you, you get the option to select other issue types also. So right now I'm not creating anything. I mean, I'm not going to add anything. Uh, so similarly, you can add all the issue types you can create all the issue types from this place and you can do a lot of other things you can add uh, multiple fields also so those things are available now let me show you one thing uh, because uh, okay suppose uh, <clears throat> i i did uh, i i delete this uh, issue for example okay this is a draft issue but uh, suppose I delete one particular issue. So from this plan, by mistake, if I delete any particular issue, 
then you can view it uh, using plan settings also so where uh, that i will show you when we will uh, go to move to that plan settings area right so this is uh, mainly about creating issues and there are filters so these filters are actually if you use these filters if you practice i mean if you have spend enough time these filters are really really very helpful you can uh, you can simply select uh, based on uh, priority uh, and so all these things can be done so these filters are you can say that uh, if you don't know um, jira query jql so here the uh, it is very helpful there are multiple filters provided and we will be utilizing as and when it is required uh, in addition to that okay now let us discuss little bit about the views so whatever changes you make over here uh, it is i mean it will tell you that okay this has been edited and if you want to reset it so you can reset it using this so there are ba basic view top level view and there is a standard uh, selection using this view settings so in the top level view there are some uh, settings which comes on its own so whenever you create a plan so these views this uh, four or five views are available these are four views which are already there we will discuss one by one about those and if you want to create uh, a new view you can also do that so you can manage saved views and uh, so you have sprint capacity view we will discuss more about this uh, after few minutes so this is basic view now okay now let me share few things about uh, fields so these are uh, various views in which basically what you are doing you are uh, you are trying to you know filter few things and you are just trying to sort something so using view settings you can sort by you can group by so and there are some minimum requirements for each and every views and if you refer the refer uh, there are there are articles for each and every view that okay in particular view what is the standard settings so that is one thing now let us uh, understand a little bit about what are the fields so in fields uh, this is very good um, i like this feature because when i tried this i did know i did not know a lot uh, i mean that you can add uh, so many fields over here so you can see by default you have this priority start date due date uh, status progress etc so progress means here you can view uh, story points uh, and in priority one thing i observed recently is that uh, in jira you do not have this uh, you cannot sort this so as a scrum master um, you cannot uh, sort this in jira like based on priority so that is possible here in addition to that suppose i want to add multiple fields say for example i want to add uh, okay which field um, <clears throat> Okay, I want to add this the, here. Okay, flagged field. I don't know what is happening. Or I have already. I have tried this and okay. So I'm not able to add this, but I, uh, so in that case, what you can do is I want to add this field. So now I can go to manage custom fields and uh, it is already i have added but if it is not here you can simply go to add custom field and select that field from this list and then it it should allow and it will allow you to add this field so similarly you can add many other fields over here and one more thing like uh, you can simply drag and drop you can um, change the uh, sequence i mean uh, uh, based on whatever is your requirement so that is also possible similarly uh, here also you can uh, change the ranking so in this issues so say for example i uh, as a product owner uh, if you want to simply change the sequence 
so here it is saying okay it couldn't be moved right okay so it is possible to move this issues so if you go to top level view you will see uh, this type of view and then there is also a dependencies view uh, we will uh, discuss more about that also so ranking can be done you can change the rank as well as you can uh, add multiple fields uh, from this place priority status progress so i think um, many fields are already there okay this field is already there that is why okay i did not observe that it is already here uh, we are able to view that so as you can see that whenever i mean if there is uh, any impediment you have this flag field so all this thing everything you can view on a single page and that is why uh, it is helpful so that is one thing uh, now now let us understand uh, some plan settings so we discussed about filters then we discussed about some uh, various views which are there and then now we will discuss about a uh, few settings which are important so in a plan if you go to plan info it is nothing but it will it is uh, it provides you the so this name we had already entered while creating a plan scheduling now this this particular thing is very important here so by default uh, jira advanced roadmap provides you uh, estimation in days and if you follow if you if you are team are following uh, agile scrum so in that case you can uh, make it as a uh, story points so this is one important change which you need to do additionally there is something called dates so uh, when you, you uh, it provides zira advanced roadmap has start date and due date so you can either uh, set it as a start date and due date so which date fields to use when visualizing work on timeline so start date right now by default start date and it is uh, taking a due date for planning purpose right now uh, but you can change it you can um, change it to target start and target end date now below that uh, there are three options inferred dates so suppose uh, you want to uh, use sprint date and uh, release dates when issues don't have start and end dates. So that setting can be done. So which it will basically follow whether it will follow sprint dates or it will take release dates based on release. So that setting has to be done at this particular in this page. Then you have dependencies. So dependencies are of two types. Uh, one is sequential so the um, one task can be done in sequence and it is dependent on the earlier task so sequential dependencies can be there as well as you can also set concurrent dependencies so concurrent means you can schedule two issues at the same time so this page these settings are important then you have saved views which we have already discussed about there are four views program boards we are not going to discuss uh, in this session issue sources so now here we had selected so i had mentioned that you can have three different types of issue sources board project and filter now we had selected board and just uh, i i'm just uh, sharing one thing that uh, if when you have to plan for a sprint usually select uh, I mean, uh, make a practice to select a board. Uh, so suppose I want to add another board here. So I can do that. I can select uh, the other board uh, from this place. I will select this one. So I can add issue sources uh, at once. I have defined that doesn't mean I can add uh, multiple issue sources. I can add a few more also here. So, okay. Now, here, as you can see, uh, it will show you the number of issues in plan. So from this board and this particular board, total number of issues are 44. 
then these are few uh, small small things but which are very very important exclusion rules so exclusion means you want to exclude few things exclude uh, you can exclude task any type of task you select say for example i select a story so which is usually not done so you can if you want to exclude any uh, type any issue type and which you want you do not want to view on uh, your plan you can do it additionally you can you can exclude status also so this is also usually not advisable but maybe uh, as per your requirement say for example you don't want done status uh, you don't want suppose you are in a planning phase and you don't want to see that so that also can be done and this setting uh, uh, let us understand that how it works so here by default 30 days is mentioned so what is written here enter the number of days after issues marked as done will stop showing in the plan so suppose you are planning for three months three months after three months you here you mentioned 90 days and you say that okay i don't want all the done issues uh, on uh, that particular uh, plan after 90 days so it is possible that all the done issues that is all the done epics or whatever it is so you will not able to you you cannot view those on plan so based on this setting it will remove done issues only from the from that plan so these things we need to i mean uh, remember and okay you can also exclude releases so first of all you can view releases uh, so these are uh, select releases to exclude from the plan. This will exclude all issues associated with the release. So these all these settings uh, here it will show you excluded from plan. So right now we are not making we are not we will not change uh, anything right now here. Then this is uh, removed issues. So this is for removed issues. So on this page. Uh, I had removed this issue probably uh, earlier. So whatever issues I, I you know, I, I tried to delete one issue from, suppose I deleted any issue from plan itself, not from Jira. Okay, one thing, uh, let me uh, mention once again that whatever changes right now I am explaining, everything we are uh, trying to understand in Jira Advanced Roadmap, it is not uh, done in uh, Jira. So how it will take uh, effect uh, that I will show you. So I will demonstrate that. Um, so this is one issue which I had deleted. So uh, whatever, um, I mean, suppose I delete any issue, it, it is, uh, you can view it in the, on this page, remove issues. If you want to find your issues, you can simply uh, type, uh, I mean, you can simply write uh, the, SS, suppose this is, so you can search and it will provide you all the details about that particular issue. So which is the type and where it is, etc. And then custom fields, we have already discussed that if you want to add any custom field, which is already not there in that particular view, you can have to add that custom field and then you can add it on the plan itself. Then there are few more things, uh, permissions, Okay, permissions right now uh, grant individual users access to your plan. So there are two things. One is edit. So uh, we had uh, mentioned that um, it is open. Open means everyone, all plan users can uh, view and they have access to this particular plan. So there are four different permission labels in admin area you can go to cog icon and there are different types of permissions uh, which you can set so right now uh, this is these are the permissions which are already uh, set so if you uh, want to restrict it you can restrict it right Okay, scenario uh, about scenario, we will discuss towards the end and uh, auto scheduler also that is a big topic. So right now we are not going to um, go into detail of auto scheduler, right? Now we have, uh, we discussed about uh, plan settings, adding fields, etc. And okay, now you have two views. 
you can have list view and you can also have timeline view. So here something is already planned. So that is why it is showing us. But suppose you have not entered um, any detail related with, say, for example, any date, etc., is not mentioned. Here in the list view, we, we were able to see, we saw that, OK, start date and due date and team related details are also there. OK, one thing, uh, one important thing uh, I need to mention here, that is about teams which is very very important so if you are new to jira advanced roadmap so initially suppose you have not added any uh, teams so in this project let me show you in this other project so uh, the project which we recently created in that project we had not added the teams so suppose i want to add a team so there are two types of team you can add existing team or you can create a new team so there are two types of teams again that uh, available across organization and uh, you can select plan only so plan only means it is this team is uh, specifically for this plan right so i have selected plan only and i will select uh, uh, plan team um, B. Now, in this instance, uh, there is only one person, but practically in all the organization, you may have, you have multiple people. Uh, okay, now issue source. So here you can, uh, what is the issue source? So we have only one, uh, this board as an issue source. And what is the planning style? Now, this board itself is a scrum board, so it will not allow you to select Kanban. But if you are on a Kanban board, you can select that also. Sprint length, so this has been defined, and this capacity points. So by default, Jira takes it. I mean, you have 30 as a number, but based on whatever the actual situation, like depending on the size, I mean, sprint length and actual capacity of the team, you can modify this, right? So this is one place where you can uh, add the capacity uh, over here and create this team. So we have created this team in one project. So we have created, so suppose if I keep this blank, so I cannot keep, if I don't associate it with a board, so that team is, you will not be able to do capacity planning uh, using that uh, team uh, in that. And you can add multiple teams and you can associate it with various issue sources. And you have to set this capacity, etc. So this teams is very, very important over here, right? Now let us move back to timeline view. And now, uh, okay, now let us, uh, we have two things to uh, important topics to be covered that is dependencies little bit about dependencies the other one is about uh, okay let us first of all let us discuss little bit about dependencies and then we will uh, move to uh, okay to understand about dependencies see right now in all these two projects i have not defined so I would like to show you in one more plan is already there, but in at your organization, uh, there can be uh, dependencies which are already defined. So if you are in a dependencies view and uh, let us move to this timeline right now, it is not showing. Okay, just a second. Mm. So let us reset whatever uh, has been edited, etc. And okay. Uh, so uh, okay, one more thing: like you can uh, make changes over here also if you want to uh, view it uh, in terms of uh, quarters or. Uh, years, months, etc. So these can be done and custom settings. So you can define here time period also. 
So now if you want to, so this is a sample plan which is provided by Jira itself. So whenever you, uh, you know, whenever you set up Jira Advanced Roadmap first time and if you want to learn about that, so uh, few, basically it is uh, based on some dummy data. So we can view that in this. This is the dependency report, you can say. And here you can view uh, all these dependencies uh, which are already there as there is some uh, some kind of data available, right? So say, for example, now I try to, uh, I try to uh, <clears throat> filter it. So group by epic. So it will show you based on epic and you can, um, so you can, if you are not able to view, uh, then you can uh, make changes. You can fit it and you can reset also. So if you want, you can do that additionally. So here you can view different dependencies over here, but in this, you will also see the dependency in red color also i will uh, let me uh, find out uh, additionally you can add dependency over here so say for example i want to add any kind of dependency and then whether it is blocked by or relates to so by default uh, probably you get this blocked by this this relationship only is there but uh, from as admin uh, menu you have to i mean page sorry admin page you have to you can add other dependency that is link types and then you will get all those uh, various kinds of uh, dependencies okay uh, so here you have only two types available right so relates to is not here you cannot view it okay so you can also boom and then um, so this way, this report, you can, so as you can see here, you can view details. So what is the problem here? You can see the details, dates overlap, right? 14 days. So this is some uh, dummy data, which was already available based on that. Uh, I'm showing you, I mean, demonstrating the dependencies related thing. You can add dependency use uh, from this place as well as on the timeline view also. Now let us move back to uh, our original uh, plan. So this plan is for, uh, this is, this is the this is the plan which uh, we have created for uh, one particular project uh, that is ACE project, and in that now this is sprint capacity view. So uh, if you want to do, uh, I mean, uh, suppose you have defined some sprints, but you have not planned everything. Uh, you have not entered all the data related with the sprint. So date, etc., whatever it is there. So you have planned one or two sprints uh, using Jira itself. And now you want to view it. Uh, so for sprint capacity view, you can go to, okay, there are three important fields. Three important thing is you have to estimate. So in general, as per uh, the theory also, you have to estimate. You have to enter the data for estimation. You should be, you should have, you should enter teams. And there is one more field which is mandatory. Then only you can uh, find out the sprint capacity and you can get this type of view. So uh, that is one thing. So here, suppose you have entered everything. So you have your top level view is like this. So you can see that, okay, start date is entered, date, uh, due date has been entered, then team, okay, name of the team and assigning. Assignee also should be, uh, should be there. So right now it is probably, it is, uh, we have not configured, I have not configured here. So these things should be there and then only you, you will be able to, you can view it uh, the sprint capacity in sprint capacity view. So here, what we can interpret from this view. So I have I have created new team. So new team is working on this particular uh, 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 this uh, particular epic 
uh, and so plan and uh, suppose i click on this so i will get uh, i am able to view all the details about this sprint okay now uh, okay this is full screen view you can do it from here you can view it from this place and uh, so here you can see that okay this is the uh, time and this is the uh, duration for this sprint and allocated points are 30 out of that we have planned for 11 so 11 uh, points are allocated you can see that uh, by uh, clicking on this capacity so it will provide you all the bifurcation uh, about capacity now suppose uh, <coughs> Uh, 11 points are allocated so accordingly you can plan so this is one thing in addition to that you can edit uh, this point uh, we we can edit it from team that particular page in addition to that you can also make changes from uh, here also so capacity planning can be done using um, this uh, plan so in that you can uh, view various uh, sprints Okay, lastly, let me show you one. Uh, this is a sample plan, I think so. Okay, so in this, uh, actually, there is a lot of dummy data. That is why I'm interested to show it to you. I mean, demonstrate the same thing over here. So how it looks like. So what you have to do is in sprint capacity, enter all these three fields, assigning team. And there is one more thing which I told you. And then you have to either group by team or you can also do group by sprints also you can do. So if you do it group by sprint, you can view it like this. So that is one thing. And earlier by default, it was like group by team. So it will show you, it will take uh, the, you know, sprint duration based on whatever sprints you have already planned and you can move from this uh, place uh, like this and you can view the these are the projected sprints and these are the sprints either planned or suppose now you are able to view these are in red color so red color means uh, there is some uh, it, uh, I would not say problem, but problem related with uh, uh, more points are allocated so that you need to correct it. Okay, so that's all from my side. Okay, one thing, very important thing I missed, let me share and then uh, I will complete this. So this is uh, very, very important. If you are new to this Jira Advanced Roadmap tool, this is very important thing that whatever changes you are doing in this plan suppose i change i added custom field i have created epics so that you can view or everything you can view on this page over here and then uh, i can uh, what i can do is i have to uh, save these changes in jira and then uh, if you go, if I want to discard these changes, I can discard or right now I cancel it, right? Okay, so thank you very much uh, for listening to me. And if you have any questions, you may continue. Yeah, thank you, Yogita. Thank you so much for that insightful plan and you know the demo. Uh, yeah. There are a few questions that I posted on the Q&A section, um, which I received on the WhatsApp from some of the participants. Okay. Uh, would you please check the Q&A section? Uh, okay. 